Good morning. This is Jim McPhail, one of the pastors of Memorial Drive United Methodist Church, and I'm glad to be doing the Daily Word this morning, so I'm glad that you've joined us. We've been looking at the theme, Who is God to You? So this was uh, a question that was both personal and theological. It asked me of my personal belief, but it also therefore has some theological meaning. I believe God is love. This is the first affirmation I want to declare. Over and over again, the Bible emphasizes God is love. The most famous verse, John 3.16, begins, For God so loved the world. The Apostle Paul affirms in Romans 8, Nothing separates us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. I have experienced God as the one who loves us who cares for us, who seeks to offer us a great and powerful love. The love of God gives us an abundant life, an identity, and a meaning for our lives. So when I think about God, as most people do, we tend to make two crucial affirmations. God is love and God is creator. I believe this as well. God is love and creator, so I want to focus on what I mean and how I experience God as creator. Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. To affirm God as our creator means God is not created. God is the one who has always existed. This, mean, this means God existed before the universe. So when we say that God created the universe, we are stating that God has incredible power. I believe God displayed great intelligence in conceiving and creating the universe. The universe is both a display of God's power and intelligence. The universe is a kind of, of, of power that, that comes from God as energy. So for me, God is energy. I believe God is the supreme energy of the universe, powerful enough to create a universe and then to love creation and those God wonderfully created, humankind, all humanity. God is creative energy. The very first thing God created is light. Light is energy. I remember growing up in Tyler, Texas, where our energy was called Tyler Power and Light. I know here in Houston, the initial utility company was called Houston Light and Power. In my conceiving and understanding of the nature of God, I believe God is energy, creative energy, loving energy, everlasting energy. What is physical is finite. Therefore, it's contained to space and time. For the most part, we live in a physical world. We are physical be beings, although we are not just physical. We tend to conceive God as physical, since that's how we conceive and experience most of our world. So it is hard for us to imagine or conceive of God as anything but physical. Now, I know we are more than physical beings. We are emotional and spiritual. We have a soul and personality and character, and none of these are physical. Certainly, love can be expressed physically, but it also is an emotion. We know how we feel in our hearts and in our minds and our souls in our innermost being. Therefore, I believe God is energy, which makes God eternal and everlasting. I can conceive of God as the energy force of the universe that we encounter as love. This is very compelling to me as I affirm God as creator and as love. Both of these require great power, and God's great power is seen in these two ways. God is love and God is creator because God is the energy of the universe. This is the good news. This is comforting. This is life-changing. This is the wonder 
of human imagination. God is love, and God is energy for all humankind, now and forever, from the beginning and off into all eternity and infinity. Amen and amen.